This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. One of the 18 children who went missing from the juvenile home in Pushtawakam last night has been traced. AIDMK Supremo Jayalalita receives a bomb threat to cancel her Madurai rally as supporters dismiss the threat probe order to investigate the threat. MRTS commuters complain of inadequate railway lines to Chennai Beach from certain areas ask for more frequency. If you're not too happy with India's parliament, try this. Students in the city come together for a parliamentary session. Chennai City runs to raise funds for underprivileged children. Thousands spread support for my city. I tried. There is a lot of awareness uh, about uh, Give Life. Uh, I think uh, it's thanks to the marathon. So that way it really helps. Hello and welcome to the Late Night News on NETV Hindu. I'm Ramanathan. Let's uh, take a quick look at the stories making national headlines. Pakistani cricketers in spot fixing controversy over the sting operation by a British tabloid. Pakistan captain Salman but defends his team. Redouble efforts since people are expecting a flawless opening. The Prime Minister tells the organizers of the CWG after inspecting the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium. A fierce encounter in Bihar. Five security personnel, including three BSF Jawans, killed in another Naxal attack in Chhattisgarh. At least 10,000 people forced to flee following a volcano erupting on the Indonesian island of Sumatra after 400 years. The top story today, one of the boys who had escaped late last night from the juvenile children home in Pushtawakam has been found and returned to the home. Based on an oral complaint, police had given alerts at bus stops and railway stations across the state and one of the 18 boys who had run away has been caught. For more on that, we are now joined by our reporter Shabir Ahmed uh, who gives us more details on that. Shabir, what more can you tell us at this point of time? Well, uh, sources from the Directorate of uh, Social Defense have told us that uh, uh, one, uh, one um, uh, person who went missing uh, since last night has been found with the help of uh, parents and uh, uh, police officials. And in fact, uh, a statewide search has been launched to uh, find out uh, the other uh, inmates of uh, that particular home uh, in Chennai. And in fact, uh, uh, other details have also been given to the uh, police department officials. Uh, that is what sources have been telling us. But uh, so far, uh, uh, the uh, social uh, directorate of social defense has not given any written complaint, Ram. Uh, that is what something perhaps uh, everybody is expecting at this point in time. But in fact, they have all informed the parents of uh, uh, the children who, are, who went missing since last night, uh, asking them if they return to their respective residences, then please do inform uh, uh, the directorate so that they can bring them back. Uh, but what is the reason why these uh, 18 uh, children have uh, escaped uh, from that uh, particular home is still not known. Uh, authorities are now trying to find out uh, what can be done in that uh, issue. And also, the um, sources have been telling us that uh, there is an understanding between the police officials and the uh, the Directorate of Social Defense, uh, they will uh, first uh, launch a statewide uh, um, you know, search for these children. If they are able to find out, then, uh, then it's okay. If not, then they will uh, go and uh, register an FIR so that uh, it will be recorded. And uh, uh, once it is recorded, the necessary action has to be taken against authorities uh, uh, who are responsible for this lapse. And that is something perhaps uh, everybody is worried about in that uh, uh, so in that uh, juvenile home at uh, Prashwakam, in fact, uh, some of this, some of them told us that uh, um, uh, we have no idea how many of uh, the authorities will be suspended regarding this issue. But definitely, it is going to be a major headache for uh, uh, the so, uh, for the directorate of right, uh, social Shabhi. defense ram. Right, Shabhi, thanks a lot for joining us with the latest on that story. Of course, now the 18 boys who had escaped earlier, aged between 13 and 18 years of age, one of them who was found today are said, has said to have ex escaped the home last night. And our reporter Shabir Ahmed investigates the escape route and talks to their helpless parents, even as no written complaint has been filed so far. <laughs> 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 
The mother of an 18-year-old inmate wept on hearing that her son was missing from the juvenile home. Such incidents have been reported in the past, but this is the largest number to flee in a single incident. <laughs> The front gates of the juvenile home appear well guarded, but the rear of the facility offered ideal escape routes. The 18 boys who fled are believed to have taken this route. The Directorate of Social Defence, a government arm which runs the juvenile home, has so far not explained the circumstances surrounding the incident, but appears to be trying to cover up. With Shabir Ahmed in Chennai, Jason Tosh for NDTV Hindu. No, but this is just one incident that has come to light due to the number of children who have run away and have been involved. Sources tell us that such escapes are nothing new to such homes. The news only often does not come out. Now, Dr. Krishnamurti, the general manager of CROI Chennai, joined us and told us how the very system of juvenile justice needs to be changed. These homes absolutely uh, lack of uh, uh, even physical care and emotional care because the children are longing for emotional bonding and uh, physical care of uh, food and uh, basic amenities uh, like space to stay and water facilities and toilet facilities. Those facilities are primarily lacking. So uh, uh, the emotional care is lacking and physical care is lacking. Then absolutely no safety uh, in these uh, uh, homes because the government should take accountability. And now in another top story, just days ahead of Jai Lalita's Madurai rally, tension seems to have gripped the entire southern region of Tamil Nadu. As all eyes are focused on Amma's next leap into MK Argari's stronghold, the DMK is also taking no chances in this latest political battle. But in a new twist to the tale, Jai Lalita has been receiving threat letters to withdraw her proposed visit to Madurai. Our political reporter Shabir Ahmed with the latest. <laughs> The DMK patriarch may have put up a brave face, but Amma's massive show of strength seems to have sent jitters to the ruling DMK, quite literally forcing the DMK to do some immediate damage control. However, Jailalita shows no signs of slowing down, and her next stop is Madurai, a stronghold of DMK's southern strongman MK Aragri. This is seen as a potential threat by MK Argiri supporters and now Jalalita has received a bomb threat. Now the matter is under police investigation. However, AIA DMK party workers say that the ruling DMK is taking all efforts to stall Jalalita's massive show of strength at Madurai and their motive is to prevent Amma from scoring a political hat-trick. This threat from Madurai has left Jalalita's supporters furious. They say they are all set to take on the ruling DMK in Madurai. <laughs> Though Amma enjoys Z category security, her supporters are not willing to take any chances. Now all eyes will be on Madurai, where the AI DMK is gearing up for yet another massive show of strength. In Chennai, which will be Rahmat, Ramanathan for NDTV Hindu. But Amalath's Deputy Chief Minister M.K. Stalin today laid the foundation stone for the Outer Ring Road in Chennai. It is the first phase of the road system with a distance of 30 kilometers to be built at a cost of 1,082 crore rupees. The full length of the highway is 62 kilometers, which will connect Vandalur in the south of Chennai with Minjur in the north. The road will run through Nazareth Pet and Nimilicheri. Stalin also inaugurated a municipality office in Avadi and flyovers in Tirunandraverur and Patabirar.
Now, speaking of transport in the city, train users in areas like Tiruttani, Arakonam and Avari say that the suburban railway should run more trains to Chennai Beach from the areas as the beach station has frequent connecting services to Tambram and Velacheri instead of Chennai Central, which is not a convenient transit point. Salim reports. Every day, lakhs of people in Tiruttani, Arakonam and Avari travel to Chennai on packed trains. Commuters say that's because Southern Railway operates only a few services on this route. But commuters point out more trains connect with Chennai Central, which is not a convenient transit point because of the need to switch to Park Station by walk. If we see the Chennai Central and the Park and the Park Town Station is not being connected, so the way we are coming is it's so difficult because the rush is more. Rush hour also poses a problem for travellers on long distance trains that pass through Trithani and Arakonam. <laughs> Sometimes even when we have unreserved ticket, we are forced to go into the resort because there is no proper sufficient you know, space for the people to get in unreserved compartment. I think the number of second sitting should be increased at least. There's also a safety issue during rush hour. To avoid missing the next connecting train at Park Station, commuters scurry across this busy road after arriving at Chennai Central. The demands of the commuters are simple. They say increase the frequency of trains to Chennai Beach, Avadi and Arakonam or connect Chennai Central to Park and Park Town stations to make their travel easy. In Chennai, Salim for NDTV Hindu. Well, close to one lakh Chennaiites woke up early today to run for a cause as a part of the Mark Give Life Marathon. The marathon looks to improve the nutrition and education of thousands of children in the state through its proceeds. Sam Daniel sent this report. Enthusiasm on the streets of this southern city for the Marg Give Life Chennai Marathon. The third edition saw close to one lakh people run for the city's cause. I am very happy that we have got 3 lakhs prize money and we have The proceeds from this will go to educate and provide nutritional supplement for more than 8,000 underprivileged children. It seems Chennaites are liking it. Of course. Uh, there are a lot of people it's really nice to see that. It gives you a regular and consistent exercise. Taking a cue from the IPL, Drama Sivamani's beats filled the air. And there were cheerleaders too. For the first time, international athletes were not invited. Until our runners are ready to compete with the international runners, let's keep it as a national run, not really as an international run. And a 500-meter wheelchair event ensured the marathon was truly inclusive. In Chennai with camera persons Kutti Raja and Bidesh, Sam Daniel, Find it TV. Now, a group of students in Chennai surprised their audience when they demonstrated how they would conduct India's parliament if they were offered a chance as an MP. Now, the demonstration contained some very good ideas for the real MPs who are often known to keep the parliament in a state of chaos. Take a look. Scenes like these in the Indian Parliament is nothing new for the country's citizens. A group of students in Chennai decided to hold a mock parliament session with themselves as MPs to demonstrate that it is possible to sort out issues peacefully. About 75 students from nine schools convened the mock parliament as part of the 175th year celebrations of the Madras Christian College Higher Secondary School. Well, they introduced many bills, also held discussion on them. The motive? To spread awareness that parliament should be conducted in a responsible manner. Really, this exposure has created a lot of mindsets within me that about uh, fresh ideas about politics and new ideas about the politicians in today's life. Surely, this parliament has been a uh, what you can say it has been a proper benefit for me. So close to reality, you in the Samuka Te Tati Ripakodia were Idama Haverka Vendum, Tunga Kodia Vandraha, Ilamal Matrava, the Ungal Kaika Lilan Erikira. The highlight of the Parliament session was this move the unanimous rejection of the bill that proposed a 300% salary hike for MPs. No doubt, there was a lot to learn from this for the real MPs. With Krishnamurti in Chennai, this is Zoya Thomas for NDTV Hindu. Well, time to take a short break, but on the other side, 
uh, all the national news and another Naxal attack hits the country. No balls, but yes, controversy, another match-fixing allegation hits Pakistan cricket.